You heard Mark talking about the altered images, LP. Well, here's Claire Grogan talking about the making of the video for the single Bring Me Closer and her career. Roll it, Claire. Well, Claire, just made a fab new album. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, we was it a lot of fun to do? Um, yeah, it was quite good fun. We've been working on the album since actually last November, so it's taken mm. us quite a long while. We did recorded half of it in Los Angeles with um, Mike Chapman, which was quite good fun. And then the other half we did with Tony Visconti in dreary old London. <laughs> it's going to be the next single after Bring Me Closer. I think it's going to be Love to Stay because it's like oh, such good. a summer sound, you know? Yeah. And we're hoping to kind of tart it up a bit more as well. <laughs> did you make the, did you deliberately set out to, to get a kind of Love Unlimited Orchestra Philly sound to it? Um, well, I mean, that was our aim in a kind of naive way. I mean, we didn't really think we'd be able to pull it off and to a certain extent, it's, we haven't really. I mean, we're not going to oh, flatter ourselves by I saying we have. have. But I think it's quite close. Mm. Do you hope to be doing any more films then, yourself? Well, I'd really like to eventually. Um, I don't really see it happening this year because I think I'm, hopefully I'm going to be dead busy being a successful uh, <laughs> pop star. But um, perhaps next year, if I get asked to do something really tempting and and something I want to do. Everyone's been asking me to play schoolgirls and everything, which I, I just don't want to do because I feel like I get into a corner that I wouldn't be able to break out of. You've really been trying to discourage that sort of image lately, haven't you? Yeah, slightly. <laughs> are people still very reluctant to, I think, to see you in I any other way? I think some people are reluctant to a certain extent. Um, yeah. Our new album cover we've kind of used as a shock tactic because, I mean, people don't even recognise me on it. Mm. Uh, not even, like, my own family and things. Um, and we felt like we had to use a shock tactic because mm. people, you know, I do interviews all over the country and people are still asking me about ribbons and um, bobby socks and things like that. And, I mean, a lot of that's my own fault, I admit, but, I mean, I'm really trying desperately to shrug it off. And I have ha now had to make a conscious effort to do so because people are being so reluctant to accept us as, like, not a lollipop group, you know, mm. as, like, a serious, <laughs> in quotation, group. I hardly recognised you on the sleeve of the single, I must say. <laughs> Wait, did you see the album cover? Did you enjoy doing the video? Yeah. I've, I haven't seen it myself, but I've, I've heard it's a very, very elaborate sort of James Bond affair. Yeah, it was really good fun. Um, John Gordon Sinclair, who starred with me in uh, Gregory's Girl, was in the video. He plays James Bond and I play Miss Moneypenny, and uh, there's no story. <laughs> we just kind of... Um, fleet about trying our best to look glamorous and things like that. Lots of helicopters now. Yeah, that's right.